Among the 800 or so gangsters who now made up the Gambino crime family, the more popular candidate to take over after Carlo was his second-in-command, or underboss, Neil Della Croce. Della Croce operated out of the Ravenite Social Club in Little Italy and ran the blue-collar faction of the family. Crimes like extortion, gambling, loan sharking, and whenever necessary, murder. Delacroix, one of the scariest individuals I've ever met in my life. Delacroix's eyes were like, uh, like he didn't have any eyes. You ever see that, Children of the Damned? Like his eyes were so blue that they weren't even there. It was like looking right through him. Delacroce was the epitome of the Mafia's old school. He was a soldier who believed in the tradition of unquestioning loyalty. When he was passed over for the top job, he accepted his fate quietly, even if he was bitterly disappointed. Some of Delacroce's thugs, including the ambitious John Gotti, did not accept the decision so lightly. Gotti was an upstart. Gotti was like, what do you mean, so it shall be? You know, what about you? You were number two. You were in line. But the new boss was no fool. He knew the blue-collar guys resented him. So he made peace with Delacroce and his gang.